Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to talk about mobility scooter seats, how to remove them, how to rotate them, and what to do if they're stuck, which is a really common question that we get. But before we get started, I just want to mention two things. First, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out that simple short form, and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically going to get entered into a giveaway, and we give away a mobility scooter at least two or three times per year. We're trying to do it more often, so if you could, Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It's free to do. It takes no time and you could be the next lucky winner. I'm going to throw the last winner on the screen so you know that it's legit and we'll be right back with you. Actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah, yeah, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Hello. So I'm just we're here with tissue. Gloria and she's got her scooter that we're donating and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. So hopefully you subscribed and good luck to you if you did. Now we're gonna get started with the video. Here we have one of our top selling scooters. It is a beast. It's an off-road beast. It can handle almost any kind of terrain. We're the number one volume dealer for the Afikim scooter. That's what you're looking at here is the Afikim scooter model S. And it doesn't really matter which scooter you have. Most mobility scooters, I'd say about 95% or more of them rather, they have the, the same type of seat mounting uh, setup. And I'll explain all that here in just a moment. So this is a captain seat, which means it has the headrest, high seat back, it does recline. And the first thing I always recommend doing when removing a seat is folding the back down. When the back's down, it's not gonna have uh, too much in the way for you to reach over, grab it, and pick up. And that's what you need to do when you're lifting up this seat. Now with this model, there's a rotation lever here in the front, which I'm engaging and disengaging just to show you that it's there. And that lever is used to rotate the seat. So while it's lifted, I can rotate the seat 360 degrees, and then you'll see it locks back into place once you get 45 degrees one way facing to the right, to the left, or to the back, or forward. So what you want to test out, not every model is the same, but a lot of the models you have to lift up that rotation lever before taking out the seat. And that happens to be the case with this model. So with the Afik MS model, you do have to lift up that bar and then pick straight up to remove the seat. Now the seat's heavy, so it will help if you have two people. Otherwise, what you want to do is position one hand underneath the front side, kind of grabbing that lever, one hand on the back right underneath the middle and the back side of the seat and pick straight up. I'm going to re-emphasize the word straight. If you pick up with any kind of tilting angle to the left, to the right, to the back, to the front, it will not come out. It'll appear as if though it's stuck. And I'll show you why in just a moment. The bottom part of the seat has a male connector on it. That male connector slides into the seat post, which is down here. And inside of that seat post, you have a rubber coating. So if you're pulling up and it's at an angle, like this way or back this way, and you're trying to pull up, it gets stuck with the rubber and it will not come out. You can see it's a very rubbery, kind of like a sticky goo in there as well that really holds that seat in place. So if you're pulling up on the scooter seat and you're tilted back, tilted towards yourself or away from you or forward, it's just gonna appear as if though it's super glued in there, pretty much. And that's because for safety purposes, these seats need to be in there very securely, especially if you're transporting it on the back of your car with a vehicle lift. 
and you know those platforms that attach to your hitch on your SUV or your truck. When you hit a speed bump, if that's not tight, that seat could come flying off and cause an accident. So I'm going to put the seat back on. And if you have trouble with the seat not going on properly, like let's say you put it on and for some reason the seat just rotates uncontrollably. And I'm gonna demonstrate that. If you put the seat on without holding the lever up that you use to take it off, same thing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna look for that connection point and I'm gonna let go of the lever and let it drop in. What you can see now is that it's rotating and then you have to engage that lever to lock it in. Now it's locked in. But if you don't hold the lever up sometimes, depending on the model that you have, it will not connect properly and the seat will rotate around freely. So take the seat off, hold the lever, put it back in and that should solve it. Now we're gonna go over a few other examples of scooters to show you that most of them work the same way. All right, so I have another model here. This is a Pride Mobility Revo. 2.0 and some other models made by Pride will have a seat system with two under seat storage containers. Now the rotation lever is right here in the middle and I'm using that to rotate it. Now it locks into place just like the other model that we looked at and the key here that I'm trying to show you is that these under seat storage containers need to be opened outwards like this. If they're not open, the seat will not come off. The seat will not also reattach properly if they're not open. So that's something that you may want to try if you're having trouble with your seat not going on the way it's supposed to. So just like the other scooters, I like to fold the seat back, gonna rotate it forward, make sure that these are both open, both the storage containers are open, and I'm gonna pick up. What's going on? It's not coming out. You see what I'm doing? I'm tilting to the right. I'm exaggerating that tilt. If I try and pick up tilting forward, it doesn't come out either. And again, going back to my previous tip, it's because it has the same exact system. So if you pull straight up, it comes right out. Now underneath, the seat, you're gonna see the same system, a mail connection, which is the seat post um, mail connector. And this is the female seat post connector, which is coded with rubber on the inside of that. Now, if I go to put this back on with these closed, it will not work. Even if I line up that post perfectly, it just will not go in. No matter what I try, it's in the way. So, open it, get to push upwards, and then pull outwards. Line it up. Level it out, let it drop in. Now the seat's installed and you can close your storage bins. It's not rotating freely. You have to use that rotation lever and it locks into eight different positions. We're gonna go over another model really quick. Keep in mind, most power wheelchairs work the same way too. All right, so we have another model here. This is the GoGo ES2, and I just wanted to demonstrate one other situation. This one doesn't come up at all. There's no rotation lever. So really, the only thing you can do for these models is look down here in the seat post system. And as you can see, there's a quick release pin right here and an adjustment knob. So if you loosen that knob, it's gonna prevent it from shaking around, but then you pull this pin, and not only is that to remove the seat, but you can also adjust the height. Now, most of the other models have this same type of system with a pin to adjust the height, but this is how you would remove the seat on the GoGo ES2. I'll also point out on, that on the iRide scooter, one of the older models, the same thing. You can't really release the seat without uh, a bicycle style clamp actually on the iRide, but Seats are pretty simple. You can usually figure them out if you have a little experience, and hopefully this video has provided you with some. All right, so here we have a power wheelchair. It's made by Merits. It's called the Easy Go Deluxe. And I just wanted to show you that the system on most power wheelchairs work the same way. Unless you get into the heavier duty ones, sometimes they're a little more complicated to take apart. 
And for those, you should really contact a technician if you're having issues. But for these travel-friendly ones that come apart pretty easily, this, the system is still the same. Now here we have a rear cane attachment, but the only thing different is you have a joystick on the armrest with a cable that goes down into the motor and the controller area. So I'm gonna rotate this to show you that wire, which if you just follow it closely, it comes all the way down here. And there's always a quick release kind of a connector that you can detach. Here you just push up on this, detach that. And now this cable that's running to the joystick controller is free, so I can remove the seat and it's not gonna pull on this and potentially rip this connector apart. Now, for this particular model, all you have to do is reach down, get a firm grip on the bottom, on the front and the back, and pick straight up, just like the other models. As you can see, there's a male connector and a female connector for the post assembly here, and that is all there is to it. So I'm gonna put it back up, line it up, level out the chair, let it drop back into place, and then reconnect the joystick. Now we have power once again. Power wheelchair is functional and ready to go. So there are probably a lot of other things that can go wrong with your seat, especially with armrests. We have a whole other video on how to troubleshoot and adjust your armrest. We have videos that show you how to adjust the height of your seat, which is pretty easy. There's just usually a bolt or a quick release pin that goes through the female seat post, and you can raise it up and put that pin or bolt through a different hole to change the height at which the seat post rests. So that's how you adjust the seat height. But we have videos on all that stuff. We have tons of educational videos on our YouTube channel, and we're doing giveaways all the time, not just on the Mobility Direct YouTube channel, but also on our other channel, Mobility Scooter Sales. So check them both out. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. My name is Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. Have a great day.